let's go over the difference between circular and linear DNA. Circular DNA is kind of what it sounds like. It's DNA that's going to be continuous or in a circle. And typically circular DNA is found in prokaryotes or bacteria. Linear DNA is kind of what it sounds like. It's just one long strand of DNA. I like to say it has a start and an end point. And we usually find linear DNA in eukaryotes. Both of these DNA are going to code for mRNA that's going to code to make a protein. But how they are stored is just a little bit different. You can see the circular prokaryotic DNA versus the eukaryotic DNA that has a start and an end point. Typically in prokaryotes, we find one main chromosome that is a circle, but it kind of looks all jumbled up here, as well as plasmids, which are just smaller portions of DNA that are also in the form of circles. Typically, eukaryotic DNA condenses into chromosomes that look like this, where they have a start and an end point, which means they're linear. One last thing to point out about DNA is how restriction enzymes are going to cut the DNA differently. You can see with a plasmid or circular DNA, a restriction enzyme is going to make this circle into one segment. However, with linear DNA, you can see this long strand being cut into two smaller fragments.